Earlier on, we did a D6 and A6 block that turned out to be a mini me because it's running a PO8 VTEC head. We run PM7 pistons, yes, in here. And the owner decided to upgrade a Crower cam. Here, we got a video. Here's the Crower cams. Yes, we dropped in the engine onto my car and my EG to be able to test drive it and actually tune it. Yep, here's the startup. Yep, and we drove it around after warming up, of course. Yes, so we get some few runs here. Yeah, we got to test my intake. Yes, hopefully we're gonna get the dyno this, so let's go, let's go. Here's our new Facebook page. I had to make a new one because my old Facebook got hacked and I lost control of the old one. As you can see here, we got a price list of the basic work like porting, even cam degree and engine assembly. You can check it out. Yes, and we constantly do some posts there to give a good discussion. Like we posted its intake, it ended up with a good comment section with the discussion that's good. That we went all the way to an intake test between the stock airbox short ram and cold air intake that also led to a fat boy intake test versus a short ram and cold air so you can check out the page like link in the description okay and if you don't have facebook we got our ig this is my ig here i use it exclusively for srd motorsports as you can see here i post all the good stuff there too so hit me up in the on our page or instagram no problem and if you like short form content our tiktok is quite active there's three of my guitar videos there because i also play guitar but we constantly post some good stuff there for entertainment yes okay so now let's start so this engine started the d16 a6 or an esi engine locally we got a video on the build here link will be in the description below of course it had a po8 z6 intake so it became a mini me and a china skunk 2 that we ported we made sure it's gonna work really good as you can see here in the finished product like there it's almost done and now it's fully welded yep we also have a video of this here it's gonna be in the description okay so we decided to put the engine on my car the customer agreed so that we can tune it see how it goes and so if there's gonna be much changes needed it'll be easy because we're here and he lives in a different island so the engine here is on my car now ready to be started up yep let's go And this is not a first startup it's also it's already been running for days so this is just you know the first time we're taking a video for it so yep and as as we continue tuning this some of you should know we're making a video on how to or how to tuning or starting an ec tuning is going to be basic and here's the some footage for it we're going to have it on the public video and of course the membership only video is going to be more exclusive and more technical but we're going to make both videos so that for the people that's wanting to understand more about ecu tuning or to start tuning you can check on that video soon all right yes it's still warming up here yep once it's warm, warmed up and good, then we're going to take it out for a drive. Oh yeah, it's going to be so, so fun. Yep. The fun part is when we start driving it, right? Yes, but I need a favor. You got to hit the like button this way. The more like the video get, the more activity it shows to the algorithm and gets spread out to wider audience and hey, it helps the big channel big time. It helps me a lot. So I'm re really thankful for that. So hit the like button, guys. And of course, if you haven't, you got to subscribe. This way you can binge watch on all the videos that we have on your own free time. Because when you log into YouTube, you can just check out the our videos on the playlist anytime anywhere you want right yep and also of course for the hardcore you gotta check out the members only you gotta join the members so we have a more extensive and ultra technical videos there that gets too boring for the general audience but for the members or for the hardcore it's gonna be just perfect including the tuning stuff let's go now we're driving out yep it's gonna be fun as you can see it's kind of perfect here for new builds or fresh builds because it's constantly uphill downhill uphill downhill so there's no you know not much straight flat areas that you can just you know cruise so it's 
gonna always gonna have a different kinds of load applied to the engine so it's gonna help the piston rings seat well so you know that's one of the advantage that we have being located here in Antipolo yep really good here it drives really good now it's almost done you know almost ready but there's a few more tweaks that we gotta do in tuning before we can say that it's all ready to either you know be delivered run hard or dyno who knows yep was gonna make a U-turn I thought he didn't see us but he saw us so that was a close call and some of you will notice how light it feels driving it it's it's actually how it feels driving it you know it's actually pulling really good the stage one from Crower is almost perfect with this and of course this come to intake is healthy helping it breathe especially if we drive on the upper rpm ranges here we'll see how far we can go or where we can check out the drive so we're enjoying this now like you know and of course the more miles the engine gets the more you know good condition it starts to get it gets gonna be ready for the dyno soon hopefully all right there's a few cars there let's keep going yep yep as you can see it's really fun to drive here right trees houses all the places it's kind of peaceful but yep yeah. now we're gonna make a u-turn once we reach a next gas station petron here we are we back oh it feels good oh that motorcycle Yep, me and my colleague are laughing about it because the motorcycle actually from the shoulder overtook another motorcycle going into our lane. So that's crazy. That's probably why we have more motorcycle accidents in our country here. All right. So now we head back. We park the car and see how it goes in the idle. And yes, here we are now. Oh, it's quite stable and quite good. Yep. But you know, still I'm still not you know not satisfied with the tune, so I'm still gonna have to polish up the tune, everything from idle, from normal driving into even the hard or heavy driving. All right, yep. Now let's look at the engine. Here it is. All peaceful and resting. You know, not not realizing it's actually a beast. So this is pretty good. And so if you haven't watched the engine video, the setup is 12.5 is 12 compression. It runs PM7 pistons with ARP rod bolts. Crower Stage 1, 63441Z. It's a new grind from them, a 4-1 header. And of course, the Skunk 2 intake is ported, so we know it won't be strangled on the top end. And of course, if you guys have seen this video here two years ago, it's about an intake I designed based on a dseries.org design from the guys in the forums. Yes, we actually downloaded it and had good gains. You can see this on the dyno playlist that we have on the channel. Yep, it made really good gains, but I wanted to try it here just to know that it's not a placebo effect that I was feeling the good responsiveness. So we try it here now. Yes, we're gonna start the car. Ah. Yes. Because starting it, I mean, using the intake gave I, I, I felt like it was ultra responsive, so I wanted to see on a different engine, not just my engine. We want to try it here, so we can see how it feels. And you can see, you can still connect the colder intake there with some fabrications. Right, here we are. Oh, it actually feels lighter. Okay, same feeling I had on my engine. Yep, I was telling my colleague that he, I can feel it when you step on the gas, it moves forward. You can listen to it. Yeah, it feels really 
good. Me and my colleague were discussing it, you know, on how how good this would be on the dyno and how we can see the results. So hopefully the owner is up for it. Yep, yeah, we're gonna make a video when we dyno this. Don't you worry about it. About it. Oh, it feels good right here. Oh, that's the U-turn spot where the fan scared me. Yep. You can listen to the engine. It doesn't feel... It feels light. I mean, how it sounds. Yep. Without needing much downshift or higher RPMs, it still pulls good. Okay, now here, now we're trying to see, my colleague's idea was, you know, he's gonna step out of the car and so he can shoot a video of me driving by. So I said it was a good idea. So now we're trying to figure out where I can drop him off. I'll oh, keep going. Looks like it'll be a good place. You know where we usually take pictures of the car. It's a it's a good bed with a corner or with a gate. So yep, we're gonna drop. I'm gonna drop you off there. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna drive by. This is like Mount Aquina, right? But I'm not Takumi, sorry. Yep, my colleague that is taking a video of all the surrounding, how it looks. We, we usually get a Bayawak or a Gecko here just walking around across the road. It scares us, but they, they gotta be safe, right? Here I am. Yeah, funny, my colleagues like put, put my phone down on the floor just to make this certain shot or angle. It's pretty cool. Yep. So now let's drive back to park the car. We've had, we've, you know, at least now I've confirmed to myself that the throttle body radius inlet intake or intake, the TBRI, actually gives that much responsiveness. That's really good. Unfortunately, we're not selling that. I mean, but you can check out the video we did two years ago on the design. You can make your own design, it's gonna be okay. Oh yeah, that feels good. And if you're local, that's Vice Ganda's house. He, the, he has a huge mansion over there. That's the back side of the house. If you can see his local videos, on his own social media stuff. You see the back the back of his house, the trees, is actually that spot where we drove by. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to share that tidbit of info. Oh, now the sun. All right, so we head back, park the car and check everything, because everything is running good. Yep. Yeah. Now here we are. Yep, idling stable. So I adjusted the idle a bit just to make it more smooth because it's it was vibrating a little bit, you know, a little bit too much on the earlier. So I just I just did some more. I'm trying to I'm still trying to see where the sweet spot is to to give the, an extra extra smooth idle. Thanks to the Hyundai the S300, it's easy to do that to achieve a smooth idle. So, yep, as you can see, it's really stable. You can't really tell it in the cam or anything. It's just like stock. But res and sounds really good, right? Yep. So as soon as we finish dyno, I mean, as soon as we finish, you know, street tuning with all the details here, see it's running a bit smoother now. I just I just did it a bit. But yes, we gotta finish the street tune, make sure everything is perfect, and as soon as that's done, on the end screen we'll have a dyno video, but that's not yet done, so here, you can just click here.